This is a $15 million fish, or at least that's what it's cost so far, just to keep it out of the Great Lakes. And new costs and fears are surfacing after recent DNA tests suggest these Asian carp may be above an electric barrier, a barrier that was meant to stop the carp from ever reaching Lake Michigan. Most fish do not like uh, electrical impulses, so it's a way to stop um, these guys from going further because they'll get close to it and instead of going into it, they'll turn around and swim back. Right now, there are 185 invasive species in the Great Lakes, but scientists say that the introduction of Asian carp stands to decimate what's left of the natural ecosystem. If we had Asian carp get into the lake and reproduce successfully, which is very likely, we would probably see not much more than Asian carp in the lake. You talk about biodiversity going from here down to almost nothing. And that's because these large fish love to eat from the bottom of the food chain. They eat plankton that's found in the water column. Uh, plankton forms the base of the food web. Every fish out there depends on plankton at some time in their life or indirectly. If these animals get out there, our concern is that they will reproduce and essentially eliminate uh, uh, effectively plankton in the lake, which will affect all the desirable fish that are currently out there. And officials worry that a lake full of Asian carp might do more than kill off other fish. It could kill off an entire industry. There are still some commercial fisheries, but those would be knocked back even further. Uh, there's also probably equally as popular sport fishery, recreational fishing. We see that every spring and summer. We see people out here right behind the aquarium fishing. Um, a lot of what they're fishing for, smallmouth bass, perch, uh, when they go out on, their, on a boat on the lake, they might be fishing for lake trout or salmon. Those fish would effectively, in time, probably disappear. So it would probably wipe out both a sport fishery and a commercial fishery. And fishermen have another reason to watch their backs. The carp are easily spooked by motorboats, causing them to leap out of the water, sometimes even hitting fishermen. When we go down in the water, there are several of us in the boat, but the guy driving the boat actually has a cage they've created in front of him so that if an Asian carp comes flying, he's not caught off guard. He's protected back there. Whether jumping, eating, or breaking through fish barriers, scientists agree that the barrier that needs breaking is the one between the Asian carp problem and the public consciousness. A lot of times I think the general public finds out about problems when it's too late. And we're close to that right now. Um, these animals are knocking on our back door here. If they get past the uh, barrier and into the Chicago River, there's virtually nothing to stop them from getting into the Great Lakes. This is Amy Enchelmeyer and Annie Snyder for Medill Reports.